Hey y'all, I'm Abby, More Than Just Skin, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm thrilled you took some time out of your day to spend a little bit of time here with me. As you can see, I am clean face today because I started thinking um, about a new series that I wanted to do this year. And I feel like the people who follow me, and I kind of wanted to start thinking about what I wanted my channel to be about and really what I have been wanting my channel to be about this whole time is real life and everyday wearable makeup looks, show you wearable makeup and it just really got me thinking about kind of the direction I want my channel to get. I'm 39 years old. I am a professional. I am usually in federal court standing before a federal judge every single day. And I thought that it might be beneficial for you if I show you how you can have fun with your makeup, you can do different looks, but that they're very easy to do, does not require any skills, no real skill set because I'm not a makeup artist, and it's easy to achieve. And it's stuff that is wearable. It's stuff that it's not what we call Instagram makeup or even YouTube makeup. It is just makeup that people will look at you and say, oh, she looks nice. She looks put together. Not something where it's like, girl, what was she thinking when she got up this morning? So um, I also want to credit the title of what I'm going to call this series. I'm going to call it Real Life Makeup. Now, I was on Instagram and I saw a friend of mine, mom of six plus a pup, posted a picture. And y'all, she's gorgeous. She reminds me so much of Kate Blanchett. But she posted a picture in her stories and it said real life, I think it said real life makeup or something along those lines. And I was like, boom, that is what I'm calling this because I want this to be for real women, people who work or maybe if you were a stay at home mom that is still work, something that you can put on every day and feel better about yourself because let's be honest, Makeup gives us confidence, it makes us feel good about ourselves, and all of us as women deserve to feel the very best about ourselves every single day when we walk out the door. Or even if you don't walk out the door, I put on makeup even if I'm not doing a thing that day. It just makes me feel better about myself, and I enjoy it. I'm doing something, I'm focusing on myself, and as women, I feel like we forget that, and that gets lost sometimes and everything else, all the other responsibilities we have on us. So that is what this series is going to be about. Some things you're not going to see on this series. You are not going to see that Instagram filtered look. You're just not, because that's not real life, y'all. Um, you are not going to see, now, you are not going to see false eyelashes, unless I can find some false eyelashes that I can put on very easily in the morning and not want to kill myself and that they're comfortable throughout the day and I don't want to rip them off my eyes. So chances are you're not going to see false lashes. Um, some things you are going to see, you're going to see some bold lips because I love bold lips and I think bold lips are very wearable. I think they can make you look very put together when everything else is even kind of simple. So you are going to see some bold lips. You are going to see some color, um, but it's not going to be something like a total all blue eyeshadow look. You're just not going to see that. Um, every look, I can promise, that you are going to see in this series is something that I either have worn or would wear to work on a daily basis. So it is something that I consider to be wearable, okay? So I am going to zoom in, put my hair up, pin it back, and we are going to start on this first look. Here we go. Okay, so y'all, this is the look that I have been wearing pretty much the entire month of January. And I start with priming my skin, and the primer I'm gonna use is the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. Um, in a lot of these videos, I am going to speed up through these steps, um, and I may even speed up through applying my foundation today because, you know, how many times do you really need to see? I pretty much don't deviate. Um, unless I will tell you from how I apply my foundation. But yeah, I'm just putting that on. And then today's foundation is going to be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I have it in the shade W4 Natural Beige. And I am just going to be applying that with a damp, I think this is a flower beauty sponge.
Okay, foundation is on, and you can see it looks pretty dewy. I am going to do a little spot concealing around my face with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. Put a little bit right there on that redness and that sunspot, and just kind of dab around here where I find that I have a little more redness. Next up is to conceal under my eyes, and I am using the Ulta Beauty um, Full Coverage Concealer. I have said this before, I like this concealer. I don't really love the smell. Um, I'm not far from being done with it, and when I'm done with it, I doubt I will repurchase it, but I so far have really, I like it, and I like the way it wears. Next, I'm going to powder my entire face with my Fit Me um, Translucent Powder in the shade 15 Light. taking a large elf brush this step is so that my makeup stays throughout the day um yes I have dry skin some of you with dry skin may be afraid of powder I'm not because I need my makeup to last and that's one thing I will say go ahead and tell you about this routine I'm doing here, it does last because I've been wearing it pretty much all month. Moving on to bronzer, I'm bronzing my skin with the Bare Minerals Bronzer. Love, love, love this bronzer, y'all. You will see, if you haven't already, that a lot of these products that I am using today will be featured or either have been featured in my January favorites. Because like I said, this is a look I have really been wearing all month. I'm going to set my under eye using my RCMA No Color Powder. Taking a Sigma brush just to really set that. Carve out a little contour. Nothing too extreme. We aren't going to look like a Instagram carved face, no baking. We just want to make sure everything is set really good. I'm using my Hourglass, this is called Vanish Stick Highlighter in Champagne Flash. And I am going to take it on, I'm just going to rub the top with the e.l.f. brush and just dab. Where I want some highlight. And yes, this works on top of powder just fine, y'all. But I'm putting it on underneath the blush just because I think it kind of looks better under the blush. It kind of gives you that lit from within type look. Um, I'm going to use the Rocketeer by Benefit Blush Ooh. on a Sephora brush. I'm just going to sweep that on the tops of my cheeks. Now I'm going to do my brows and this has been very quick lately. I just take my boy brow by Glossier and I really just kind of sweep them up and out. It's nothing precise, but I've been, this is the way I've been wearing it the past month and I really, really like the way it looks and kind of the effect it gives. So brows are done. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. And I have been starting out um, switching it up kind of between three products. The first is either, sometimes I use the MAC Paint Pot and Groundwork. I didn't pick that up. Sometimes I go with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Caramel. It's kind of a neutral, warmy brown. But for today, I am going to go in... I'm going to go in with Nude Sticks in the shade Terra. And what I've been doing is I have been taking this all over my lid and into my crease. And then I take 
a pretty dense Real Techniques brush. This is the Crease Prep brush. And I just do some blending. I'm going to take it under my eye. And if I was a little more prepared, I would have seen I needed to sharpen this before this video. But hey, we're going to hopefully just make it work. I think I'm going to even just take my brush on here because that's a little bit easier when it needs to be sharpened. <laughs> Okay, so now that that is the base is down I'm gonna take this same brush I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer my bare minerals bronzer rub that around and just take that in the crease really this is just I'm not really looking for a major color payoff this is just kind of to set that now for on the lid I am taking a highlighter and this is my uh, makeup revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter in Peach Kiss. And I am just taking it with my finger and I'm just going to dab that on the lid. And you can really go in as intense as you want with this. And I'm just gonna blend out any edges to make it look very, very cohesive. I'm going to now take my Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightening Pencil. I love this thing, y'all. I got it in the FabFitFun box. I'm popping that in the inner corner on the Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. Love this thing. Really, really love it. Go back in with that Bare Minerals and just put some of that on the lower lash line. Now you could definitely stop here, but I'm gonna put a tad bit of eyeliner on the top. This is just a um, Lancome crayon, a cold pencil, and I am just going to do a little bit of lining, nothing major. Okay, I'm going to pop off camera, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and the lipstick I am applying today is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Alabama. It looks like this. It's just kind of a deep brownish, reddish color. All right, I'm going to take my hair down, zoom out, and we will see the finished look. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. This is my first video in this series of real life makeup. And yeah, this is a very wearable look. If you enjoyed this type of video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back here on a regular basis. And as always, I hope this video finds you having a fantastic day and a great week. And I will see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.